Welcome back to the workshop. In this video, I have a small repair that I need to do on my snowblower. Um, this is the same snowblower that I did in the, one of my very first videos where I replaced the uh, freewheel clutch on it. And uh, this thing's been working great. It's an absolute beast. I love this thing. And I've developed a couple issues. So I ordered some parts. They finally showed up. I'm going to bring you along for the repair. Thanks for coming out today. So the repair we're going to do today is on this Eaton Viking snowblower. Uh, you've heard me sing her praises before in a previous video that I'll link uh, I'll link up, up here. Um, this thing is just a beast. It's a 24 inch, got an electric start on it, so it starts all the time. Um, you can sit outside minus 30 or whatever and it just fires up. So hopefully we're done with this thing for the year now, but it is only January, so who knows. So the problem that I've, that I've developed right now is I've got a fuel leak. I also like to live dangerously. I had a fuel leak before, and uh, this hose had just gotten rotten and it broke. So I had to pull the cover off, uh, pull the cover off the other side for the for the carburetor run that hose back through there and, and replace that. But the new leak I've got right now is right on the end of this fuel shutoff. Let's see if you can focus in on that. So it's a very simple um, shutoff. You turn it in to shut it off, you turn it out to turn it the fuel on, and all there is in there is just a brass rod with a cone on either end that closes or opens the port. But over time, it just wore out so now it leaks right here okay well i've never done a voiceover before so i thought i'd give it a try on this one here let me know what you think in the comments uh some simple tools that a person needs to do this job is just a cup to catch the fuel and a pair of pliers to pull that spring clip off the fuel line then you'll need a 7 16 or whatever socket to take the uh, holder off the top of the engine undo the lid for the fuel tank and basically lift it off now uh, i think when i do this i drop a bolt so you know a magnetic bolt holder or something like that would probably be a handy thing to do anyways dump out whatever fuel is left into the cup and away you go so what i need to do here is get the grommet and the fuel shut off out of the tank this is the kit here that I bought from Amazon. It was about $17 and it came with uh, about three feet of fuel line. Here, I'm just measuring it up so I know what the heck I'm talking about. Yep, three feet. And then it comes with enough to do two repairs. So two fuel shutoffs, two grommets, two filters, and a bunch of little spring clamps. Now I'm not sure that I'm going to use this filter because my engine doesn't run really super smooth like a new one. It's an older engine so it shakes quite a bit and I just don't want that fuel filter to bang against the starter and then end up breaking so I may not use it at all. So I thought that maybe I could just grab that with a pair of pliers and give it a good wiggle and a tug and it would just pop out of there but it's been in there too long. So I just grabbed my knife and cut the grommet which is just rubber so it cuts pretty easily and uh, then I could just grab it and give it a good wiggle and hopefully it loosened it up enough that it would pop out of there for me well it finally did took a minute but uh, we got it out of there success excellent so now we'll just Pull the rest of the grommet out of the tank and then we can get into putting the new one in there so here i decided that i should maybe coat things with some oil so i just grabbed a little two-stroke oil and uh, i figured that would be a good thing to use because it's not going to swell the rubber and if it gets mixed in with the gas it's not going to hurt the engine at all so give everything a good coat and uh, this took quite a bit of struggling around to get it in there and figure out which way to do it and that sort of thing because uh, everything is so tight so 
I wanted to make sure that I didn't end up breaking anything, so I had to pull it out a couple times and put it back in. And Well, it was kind of a struggle for me, but I was able to get it in there, and it seated really nice. So um, looking at it all, it, it looks fine, and we're ready to put it back on the machine. So here we're just setting it back on the machine, and um, i got to make sure that it's positioned the right way. It has to face forward because that's where the hose is. So Now, right here, I just decided that uh, the fuel filter just wasn't going to work for me. So I'm, uh, I'm just going to leave it off. And I filter my gas anyways before I put it into the jerry cans. Um, I do decant my fuel from the one that I fill up at the gas station into, you know, separate fuel cans that are labeled for whatever I'm going to use them. So here I just decided that I was just going to use just the regular hose like it's been done since the thing was new. Uh, the spring clamp wouldn't fit over the existing fuel line that I used. It was uh, made for a smaller fuel line, so I just had to go with the regular spring clamp again and uh, took a little bit to get that position back on there and now we're just ready to dump some fuel in it. So here's the new fuel shut off uh, positioned in there under the tank really nice and so this is uh, on and off and so we'll uh, go ahead here and give it a prime and give it a test run. Okay, so simple little repair on that snow blower, and that repair will probably outlast that machine. Well, maybe not, because that thing's been around for a long time. I uh, struggled quite a bit getting that out of that fuel tank, and I'll tell you, boy, that little bit of pulling that I did, ooh, I feel that now, but it's fine. It'll be fine. And uh, I learned a valuable lesson is to check your gear. I had no idea that that fuel tank or that jerry can was leaking like that never ever noticed it so i took it apart again and had a look at it and the o-ring on the spout was actually ripped so put a new o-ring on it that jerry can is now good to go anyhow thanks for coming along for the ride i appreciate you watching give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs down subscribe you can leave a comment whatever you want to do i appreciate it and i appreciate the support that i get with this channel we'll see you for the next one take care